Here's another mushroom down here. Bye! Hello, and welcome back to a lot. Last we left off, we left the starting island on our small little island, and we reached another mushroom biome. And so today we're going to try to get more resources, expand the island, perhaps switch to a bigger island, and learn more about the story and continue the venture and see what's about that hurricane. And so, off we go. Our little mushroom friends. That's fine. You guys don't want to come out. I'll take out your little area all by myself. I love this little spear. I have to stay at a much farther range. The heck was that thing that just flew overhead? I'm sure it's nothing. So somewhere in here is going to be another mushroom node. Huh. Here's the whole bottom section. There we go. Clear it out and we'll just deal with these little mushrooms as they come by. Oh, there's still some hidden mushrooms. So we'll go and explore this little area. Oh, this is a nice little pond and that looks like a little mushroom, which means that's going to be a person. Yeah, I saw your little mushroom cap. Oh, jeez, where the heck did you come from? Oh, look, another mushroom. There are a lot of these little guys hiding around. There's another one. Yeah, there's one hiding in here. Here's a big one. That little glowy looks like a mushroom, too. Oh, there's another one behind me. The amount of rope we're going to get from these little islands is going to be great. Look, another big one. Hi. I don't see any little stone though. Well, that's cool little sun rays. Here's another mushroom down here. Bye! Another evil mushroom over here. And so I guess there's this red one and then the orange one. And the red one gives us even more fiber. See if there's anything under the island. I'm not seeing anything. Well then I guess for now we'll just clear out the island. Oh look, another mushroom guy. I see this guy too. Don't fall off the edge like the other guy. I want your fibers. Now we'll go back to our little island, throw our stockpile of stuff, and we'll go to a new island. Smash our lovely lifters. That island doesn't look like it has anything, so we'll go to this island here. This is a very nice island. Oh, we crashed. Now we'll go and explore this island. Oh jeez, got caught in that corner, but thankfully uh, we can just kind of shoot out. Ooh, a little cave filled with water. Looks like another mining thing, so we'll mine the rocks out. Ooh, and here's a little stone. As children of the skies, we were orphans no more. Leaf Bermuda sail. Oh, I see the storms have started rolling back in again. I think this island is exactly like our starting island. We should have another stone up here. And that would kind of prove that we have that this is the starting island. Yep, here it is. The angry storm batters our doors. Our shelter is safe. Ah, huh, torch. I'm pretty sure this is the angry storm. I want to see if it's like, if I can still take this island, but if it was just the starting island that was unmovable. Nope, this island is also too big. The little planks are done, so we'll throw them all in here. A bunch more rocks. Got some more wind rocks. And so off to our next island. The wind is 117 knots, which means we are going to go very fast if we go with the wind. 102 knots is insane. We're going to those mushroom islands way out there. Assume that's what the glitteries are, showing all the nearby mushroom islands. Because we have a bunch of rock debris everywhere. I wonder, are we still moving? I think we are. Even without us being at the helm. Oh yeah, we're moving. That's really cool that the island will move even without you being at the helm. That is one heck of a storm. Looks like we've added another stone, though, to our collection. It looks like we have a couple islands out here. That's really cool. It shows you literally all of the little islands that are around these areas. So here was our starting island, way over here. And now we're all over here about to smash into whatever island's in front of us. We did learn another sail. Poor quality, excellent flexibility, low wind intake. Excellent durability, and a high cost. Oh, it's another little baby mushroom island. So we'll sink our island down. There we go. Now we'll go and take this island out. 
You do a lot of damage to me. Ow. Oh, I didn't see the guy behind me. Stay away. Alright, well, I guess we're going to take this thing out again. So I'm not quite a big fan of these close combat quarters because of how small this island is. But that's another island cleared. As precious as crystal, as brittle as a twig. Oh, a window. That also looks like a lovely mushroom island. I thought this island was a lot closer. Probably should have just brought my island with me. Then this thing's got two nodes. Found the final little mushrooms hiding in the ground. Oh, what the heck? Well, that's not cool. I'll take this one out. Piss off the local inhabitants. Now oh, there's another red guy. You can stay right there, right in my range, and right outside of yours. Thank you very much. And another island cleared. The Great Storm is the mill of humanity, ready to be born anew. Millstone. I was looking for my island for a second. Completely forgot that I left it behind. Not a whole lot of mini tornadoes out here. Just a lot of debris from that massive storm. We got a millstone, so we can go ahead and make one of these. Needs bone and wheat. Oh, I can make bone or wheat. So we can do with flour. Oh, never mind. Guess we're not holding on to it. There, just cook an ingredient. We'll throw it in a rope basket, along with our dirt and our fibers. We got that island and that island. So it looks like there's two islands right there. Nice. So we'll set a course over there and continue on our little island. Now we'll make sure our heading is right. It is not. I think it's towards those two dots there. Heading good now? Yeah, it's fine. Looks like we can make some farming plots. We'll absolutely do that. Put the farming plots by our lovely dropping things. There we go. How far away are we from the islands? Oh. We're actually passing one right now. Yeah, actually right in between the islands should be fine. Okay, and we'll grow. We'll grow some pumpkins in this one. Some more pumpkins. Some blueberries. Some carrots as well. Some corn. Some tomatoes. And some potatoes. So now we'll take that leaf bucket that we left in here, and we'll fill that with water. Hopefully at one of these islands. It's so fast, so quickly. Okay, a little cave down here, and you don't have a stone. Although you do have a little bit of drinking water right there. Oh, I just threw the water on the ground. Oh, thank you. And that's exactly what I meant, character. I meant for you to fill the bucket. More pumpkins. Run up here, see what's up here. Ah, oh, here's the stone. Sheltered from the storm, we carved stones of wisdom. Wooden spiral stairs. Ah, thank you for your contribution Ooh, to the mushroom island. Hoping to find bones so I can make a bone spear. But I need a ton of them. You scared the crap out of me. Don't run up on me. You stay a distance away from me. The very tiny island. And another island cleared. Yeah, here it is. The earth may be gone, but not the heart. Fireplace. That's fitting as well. So I'm right about the earth being blown to little islands. And off to our island again. We can go ahead and water our plants. All of them are nicely in watered. Now these two islands are cleansed or explored, so we'll go to this set of four. And check our heading. Not great. That's probably where we need to go to right there. Now look much higher up, so we'll go up as well. Check our heading. And we're good. Ooh, fireplace with spaces for a lot of cooking plates. Yeah, that's a kind of cool island. Yeah, that's another really big island over there, too. There we go. This one's cool. It's got like a little lake in the middle. And bones. We definitely need bones. And here's the thing. All children in the skies must learn to fly in due time. Wooden rope fences. Got like a little pathway. Ooh, right to another stone. From earth, water, and wind, life springs forth. Farming pot wood. Okay. You have anything up here? Not that I see. Right over here. Oh, this is a really, really cool island. I actually really like this thing. It's got a nice water in the middle. It's got two stones. It's got kind of a nice outer ridge. Bunch of little potatoes hanging around. Well, I guess we'll go explore this really big island. I kind of want to see if that island is movable. I brought the planks over to see if I can actually take off with it. I would love to take off with an unnecessarily large island. And this looks unnecessary, but I think this is actually another one of the starting islands. As the wind grew stronger, so did our foundations. Stone foundation. Yep. Same with this one. And here's the other stone. It's the wind grew stronger, so did our foundations. Wood chest. Ooh. We'll fly straight into this tornado. 
Jeez, we flew way past that island. Come on, we got this. And then nosedive. There we go. As the wind grew stronger, so did our foundations. Stone wall around it. And we have a mushroom island way over here, so we'll go to this one too. Fly right into that cloud of spores. And crash land right with all the fungus. Yeah, you little turd. Uh, I got a longer reach than you. Get good scrubs. Actually, please don't. I like having a chance to win. That's what I thought you said. And that's another island cleared. Our teachings are over. Come find us in the eye of the hurricane. Oh, I guess that's it. No better quality uh, sails or anything. Just all poor quality leaf sails. I don't mean to be mean, but I'm pretty sure my little island is not going to survive that. Here we go. Incredible boosting to this other island. Oh, we missed. We missed very badly. Oh, uh, yeah, that could just be cut out, right? All right, so here's this island. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer all the stuff from this island into this bigger island. Actually, let's see if we can actually do that. Make sure our time's not being wasted. Ooh, we can build here. All right, well then, I'll be back after I clear the island and prep it for all of the materials from that island. So I've been a bit of a busy bee and I upgraded the island just a little bit by putting a nice little wall around it. And I'll give a nice little tour because I think the island is gonna be very fast. So as we're flying around it, we have a path leading all the way around the island, all the way around our nice little water source. We have a lovely walkway with some rocks all the way up to our planters, which have lovely food growing all around it. Then we have this lovely place with a nice walkway all around with some nets to catch just in case I fall over the railing. And this place leads into my main dining hall, which has food in the chests, nice fire pits for cooking food, and a nice little table with some chairs with windows all around to let in some natural light while keeping the hurricane storm outside. And we go outside to our nice little deck, and we have this place, which no matter which way the wind is going these will always be operating because all of them are interconnected to each other so we'll be continuously making planks even when we're away and anytime that we need to use our millstone for bones or wheat we can now do it and then we have this place on the left side of the structure which is my lovely storage room with my wonderful bed all around this central pillar and we head up with all of our sails and our lovely chimneys and we get to this structure and as a storm blows we then head into this structure and in this structure is glass surrounding all the way around it and our helm with our lovely map right in front of it so now from anywhere we go we can now see out of it. And our lovely island is very, very fast. As you can see on the right, we have a ton of lift, a ton of speed for the sails, and then our weight is uh, exceptionally high. This, this island is a very big and heavy island. But we can leave our nice desolate island behind as we head to a new place. We'll go towards those glimmering islands. And this massive island going 67 to 68 knots is insane. We're heading to the next little tile platform. And I'm not sure if the weight is just due to the island or if it's due to the amount of crap that's on the island. And there's our first set of islands right down there. So we'll go ahead and sink rapidly. Let's see what's on this island. It's like just some tomatoes. There are a lot of tomatoes. So we'll go to this next island, see what's over here. More tomatoes. Nothing really exceptional over here either. I thought the glimmering were the mushroom islands, but it looks like they're just islands. Oh, here's some bones. Just the one bone. That was all that was on this island. On to the next island. This one looks like it's got some spores on it. Oh, here you are. Saw that nicely tucked away. Ooh, look, another uh, top cap mushroom. Oh, did you just jump or are you dead? No, you're jumping. Oh, big red dude. I like you because you give me four fibers instead of one or two. 
And another island cleanse. Teachings are over, come find us in the eye of the hurricane. I don't think I'm ready quite yet to go into the center of a hurricane. So there's the next tile. We've got a small grouping of islands over here. What I really want to do is I want to find some more bones to try to maximize our equipment. Because I don't know if in the center of the hurricane there's going to be like a boss fight or something like that. So I want to make sure that I have the best weapons I can, which means I need more bones. There's this detailed mode. I'm not entirely sure what it's showing. I don't know if the blue are the good sales, green is the decent sales, and red are the bad sales. But I'm sure we oriented them in the most efficient way we could. Oh, it is, because there's little numbers that are attached to it. So 30 is like the max for the lifters. It looks like about 20 is the max for these big sails. 40 is the max for the rudders. And so it looks like our forward-facing sails out here are doing two. So they're adding very little to speed of the island. Well, that's kind of cool. If I knew this one existed, I would have used this as I was constructing this friggin' thing. I know that this game is mainly around moving an island and moving your home around, but I still think that this is friggin' amazing. I mean, this is a really big island. There's a lot to this. A lot of trees, a lot of rocks. There's literally water right there. And all the construction that went into this and all the customization for the islands. And it's just all moving perfectly fine. It would be kind of cool if you, like, went into the mushroom fog that your island would start to turn into a mushroom and you kind of have to fight off all the mushroom guys and so we'll park our island right in the middle of all of these islands Ooh, and we're almost off of the map Ooh, and this one's got two nodes up here there's big red and that's another island cleared teachings are over come find us yep hi yeah buddy we got work to do now, I'm not entirely sure what this debuff is out. Oh, there's a dude right there. Oh, he's in the bushes. I haven't had good luck with Bushmen. I don't know what the hell he's talking about. Oh, there we go. Exhausted attack speed reduced. And then confused suffers from hallucinatory visions. I'm not seeing a whole lot of visions. And another island cleared. Oh, another red dude. Yeah, we'll read the rock continuously. It says I can grab this. Oh, sugar cane! I thought it was gonna have me cut down these little cattails. No, oh, no, it gave me a friggin' sugar cane. And face plant right into a rock. Bones? Do you have bones? Don't care about the knowledge rock, just give me bones. I don't even see. There it is. I say, I don't even see the knowledge rock on this island. I'm pretty sure this island is actually much, much faster than our individual character. Less maneuverable, but much faster. Oh, what the heck? Island? What the heck was that? Yeah, everything's off. I just decided to, like, freak out. Didn't really want to chase my island down. Here's some pumpkins, some rocks, a non-learning learning stone, because I can't learn anything more. So now we'll check our heading. We need to turn slightly. Oh, there they are. There's the large cluster of islands. I'm still amazed at this game. Like, this is a massive construction. It took me forever to build this thing, too. Now, Island, I need you to not leave me behind. I can't fuck a promise. I'm gonna be here for sure. There's really nothing to this island. Oh, wait, bones. Never mind, I really like this island. Like, really like this island. There's an extra thing of bones. Non-learning learning stone, more bones, and some corn. Yes, give me all of the bones and corn. Oh, well, for looking like a very terrible island, that's probably my favorite island so far. I want a door kip, because that's my lovely spear. And I want bone axe as well. I have the bone pickaxe already. Now we have this awesome bone spear. But with our island upgraded and in a new location to take a bunch of stuff and a new quest to go to the center of the hurricane. So hopefully next time we can take the rest of these islands out and explore closer into the hurricane hurricane potentially even get into the hurricane to try to figure out what the lovely precursors want but that is all the time that i have for today so i hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys did please consider leaving a like and subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next one